do. Um, let's see. Yeah, he hasn't really warped in anything in a bit. He's trying to get his probes back up. He's um, If you watch the production tab, that's pretty much all he's built. And Cat's already preemptively building another spawning pool, waiting for this one to die. And I believe Cat's does something interesting here. He does. He drops a transfusion here on the spawning pool in order to buy a few more seconds to get that next one up. And very good job by Catbotch to keep these stalkers. As, and two more transfusions going on the spawning pool keeping the stalker just at range to be able to hit that and speedlings running in now by even more time for the second spawning pool here in the back i really don't like the placement of this spawning pool either just because it is kind of open still might as well put it like even in the mineral line or behind it is going to be your best option and put spine crawlers all over the place to help defend and luckily he was able to start these two spine crawlers while the spawning pool was still alive so it puts him up to five spine crawlers one queen oh, two queens and lots and lots of speedlings but these four shields are just so good against speedlings like they're pretty much the bane of speedlings it cuts down the surface area that they can attack and makes it so they can't surround anything and Catpatch actually dropping another pylon where that first one was so he can warp across the cliff yet again Catpatch has just a huge force here, uh, about 20 tier 1 units moving in against just a handful of speedlings and a couple of queens and of course these spine crawlers, but this is all that Cats has left. I mean he has no gas going, he has no other production structures, just the spawning pool, so he's basically just moving his drones, speedlings, queens, and spine crawlers around in order to stay alive and as this is game 4, Catpatch is already up 2-1 to one in this best of 5. If Cats loses here, he does lose it all, so he's going to try and hang on for dear life and try and do what he can to get back in this game, but the drones just have such little amount of mining time based on the positioning here, no real defense here in the back, so anytime Catpatch slides down there he is going to be able to slow down that mining or stop it completely. And Transfusion still coming out of these queens onto the spine crawlers, but Catpatch um, able to protect his pylon very easily with a handful of zealots. Cats cannot afford to use any larva on anything except it zerglings at this point and uh, things are looking pretty grim. He is going to sneak a drone over here on the right side, probably back to his main and maybe rebuild another hatchery. If he has that much money to spend, I would actually be very surprised. It looks like he's going to save up for it though, as there are, um, well no, he's actually had pretty good income this whole time and using the larva, but he is trying to expand back at his main. And Catpatch down to only just a, a couple of sentries here down at the bottom, finally going to have them all killed off. Cat's left with still five spine crawlers, no more queens to speak of though, and no lings that I can see anywhere, so... Um, I believe uh, some more Zerglings did come up here and try to kill this off, and they, it looks like they were successful, but um, not positive on that. He may have just killed his own to uh, get a Zealot out, I don't know, or get more forces down there. And Capoch has a pretty sizable force here. Again, Katz doesn't really have anything to combat it at all. Uh, if we look at Army tab, Army... Well, there you are. Okay. He only has 50 minerals worth of army right now <laughs> compared to 1350 and 500 gas of uh, Catbotch. So, pretty one sided here at the moment. He's going to keep just pressing in, pressing in, warping in, warping in until Katz is basically dead. He uh, has a decent income, but really, how long can you survive with just spine crawlers and a tiny base? Uh, Catbotch mowing down these spine crawlers. The Zealots do a really good job of tanking while the ranged units just pound away and the queens die, um, no spine colors left, a new queen does pop out, but Cat says GG bud, and Cat Pock, Cat Poch will take the series three games to one, so a lot of really aggressive Protoss play in that series, and a lot of very defensive Zerg play um, to, to match up with it, but uh, Cat Poch actually gets the better of Cats with some really, really aggressive pylon placements, and some really good um, micro force field use and resource management. Catpatch takes the whole series three to one. So good games, fun series to watch, and um, I'm not sure what I'll be bringing to you guys next, but Monday, June 28th will be a pretty big video, so uh, at least keep your eyes open for that one.